الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الحبہ and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love you and bless you and forgive you and give us all guidance and may Allah bless us to be a source of guidance for us all ameen I wanted to talk about the importance of Islamic knowledge or in fact this is a part of a small series of videos just uh, speaking very briefly about the importance of Islamic knowledge and that we I wanted to emphasize the fact that we are in a great need for scholarship and a great need for people from everywhere, every country, to seek knowledge. And we need more individuals to embark on the path of knowledge to help raise up the communities, the flourishing communities and those communities that are new communities. In the Muslim and non-Muslim lands, we need that. Those are the seeds of goodness when you have students of knowledge calling you and directing you and having fiqh in the religion and being able to help and assist people in practicing their religion in order to help people to establish their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala La ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al There is, we bear witness that there is no, no God worthy of worship except Allah and glorified be Allah. And verily we were one of the Valimin. May Allah forgive us of our many sins. I mean. Ayola Habba, Islamic knowledge is part of the gateway to paradise. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in an authentic hadith. من سلك طريقا طريقا يلتمسه به علما سهل الله له طريقا إلى الجنة. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, whoever traverses the path of knowledge, meaning Islamic knowledge, beneficial knowledge, not to be a doctor, a lawyer, what have you. Those are beneficial things, but not. This is not considered al nafiyah. This is not beneficial knowledge, meaning knowledge uh, of the Sharia. That's beneficial knowledge. That's the ultimate. Uh, beneficial knowledge of learning who you, who your Lord is and how to worship Him properly. So again, the Prophet ﷺ says, "Men salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi alman." Who whoever traverses the path to seeking knowledge, sahala sahala Allahu lahu tariqan al jannah. That Allah will make easy for him the path of paradise. And again, this is for men and women, as the Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith. طالب العلم فريدة على كل مسلم ومسلمة that seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every male and female Muslim. So everyone must have some degree of knowledge about Islam. They can't say I just rely on my Sheikh for everything, on what I believe, everything. You don't even have any true uh, conviction in the faith because you don't know really what Iman is or what creed what the authentic creed is that your Lord has legislated for you to believe. You just believe anything or you just believe whatever your leader and what your imam says. So that's not sufficient. Especially in the knowledge that is wajib. That obligatory knowledge. Now yes, there are many issues. Not everyone's going to be a scholar or a student of knowledge. But you must have a, a degree of knowledge to be a, a sufficient enough knowledge to be able to practice your religion properly. You must know how to pray properly. You must know how to wash yourself properly. You must know how to uh, uh, fast properly. You must know who Allah is according to the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Sahaba and how to worship Him properly subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you must know who the Prophet والسلام, is. So that's the knowledge that we need to know. And whoever strives to learn that knowledge reading some hadith daily, reading some of the Qur'an daily, try to practicing some small thing daily, then Allah will make easier for them the path of Jannah. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِي عِلْمًا سَحْلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ طَرِيكًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path of Jannah. So that means knowledge is a key 
And knowledge is a means to getting to paradise. By traversing that, seeking knowledge, and of course practicing that knowledge. The Salaf of this Ummah, the early scholars, they used to say, Talib al-Alm, Talib al-Jannah. That seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. So, ayu ala habba, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon us and you, forgive us and you, and bless us all to go forward and advance our Islamic knowledge and protect us from everything evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere and bless the ummah to begin to return back to the pristine creed that's based on the Qur'an and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of his Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and may Allah unite our hearts and protect us from everything that will cause us harm wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam